The arrest of a former Dothan pageant queen, first reported by News 4, is receiving international attention. Lindsay Shirley Shiver faces charges. She conspired to kill her husband, an affluent South Georgia businessman. News 4's investigative reporter Ken Curtis is in our studio. And Ken, what is the latest you can tell us about this intriguing case? Well, Kinsley, I can tell you a short time ago, a Bahamian court denied bail for Lindsay Shiver and two other suspects. Sources tell me the U.S. Embassy in Nassau, Bahamas, is aware of Lindsay Shiver's arrest and has discussed the matter with her family and perhaps even her friends. Police in the Caribbean charged Shiver, this is her Instagram photos, who is 36, in a bizarre alleged murder-for-hire plot that targeted her husband, Robert, a successful Thomasville businessman. Two others also face charges, one reported to be Shiver's 28-year-old lover, the other a hitman. Investigators believe she hired to kill. We don't know if this plot uncovered by Bahamian police during a burglary investigation involves a potential U.S. crime. A Georgia Bureau of Investigation spokesperson told me that agency is not involved. The FBI, as a matter of policy, neither confirms nor denies pending investigations. As for embassy involvement, I spoke to the embassy via email today. They sent me the information about that emergency bail being denied past that. They made no comment about Lindsay Shiver, who won the Miss Houston County crown in 2005 and finished second in the National Peanut Festival pageant the same year. She met her husband, Robert, at Auburn University, where he was a football captain. He is currently the senior vice president of an insurance firm. Court records reveal the couple who has three children are in the midst of a divorce. This case so captivating it has received coast-to-coast -coast attention and is also so headlines overseas. Now, Kinsley, I've just also learned if convicted, the three uh, suspects, including Lindsay Shiver, would face 30 to 60 years in a Bahamian prison. Interesting stuff there. Ken Curtis, thank you so much for staying on this story.